Hello! The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to create or produce high quality sound files using Audacity sound mixing software and iTunes. Both are available online for free downloads. The links will be in my video credits. Let's get started in Audacity, which I have already installed here on my laptop. Audacity has a simple user interface and lots of cool mixing tools to make your job easier. First, we'll record a sound file. Hi, I'm Vicky, and I have many reasons <clears throat> to believe him. Notice I added an extra cough there that I want to get rid of. We can click and drag over one of these little sound bubbles. It's a visual representation of your sound file. And we can preview it to make sure we have the right bubble. <laughs> yes, that's the cough that we want to get rid of. So with it selected, we just go to Edit and Delete, and it takes it right out of there. Notice that we can also cut out unwanted silence just as easily. Now I can amplify the sound by selecting this track that I'm working with clicking on Effect and Amplify. Inside of the Amplify dialog box, we can just drag the slider up and down. Notice it has the negative sign here. That needs to be there. Make sure it's always there. If it's not, just add one. And notice it adjusted my sound there. I can zoom in and you can see the sound bubble is clearer. Okay. Next, we can import audio. I'm going to import a, an audio music track by going to Project, Import Audio. I have some sound files saved on my desktop. One by Mark Snyder titled, I Choose to Praise You. This is the one that I use on my podcast, in Mark's Permission. Okay, this is the music track, and notice it's a split track like most mp3 files. I'm going to click the little arrow here so I can move the track up or down. I like to work with it on top of the spoken word. Uh, I can also rename this audio track. You can rename any of them by clicking on the little arrow and clicking name. We'll call this one greeting. Talk and type at the same time. And then uh, notice that I can click on a track and go to edit duplicate to make a second copy which I will be using later. We'll go ahead and mute it for now. Next I want to delete part of my first track. I'm selecting this track. I know that the lyrics start after about 30 seconds. Let me zoom out a little so I can have a better view. And the lyrics are right about here at this low point. I'm going to click and drag and select all of the rest of the song. Notice I use the low sound points as a reference for chopping. And I go to edit, delete, and it takes it away. It only deleted part of that track because I didn't have the others selected. And that's what I wanted. Then I want to use the slider tool to slide my greeting where I want it because both tracks are going to play simultaneously. Let's just zoom in a little here and slide the bar back. I can see the whole intro in one screen. I go up here to the toolbox and click on the uh, slider tool and I can pick this sound where my recorded greeting is, pick it up and drag it over to where I want to put it just over this, the last sound bubble because I want a little bit of music to be playing afterwards after it gives my speech next I want to use the envelope tool it's in the system tray up here the little toolbox click on envelope to reduce the amplitude of the music while I'm speaking because these two tracks will play simultaneously, the music will be just as loud as my voice. 
I just need to click here on the music before my voice starts and here after and then everywhere in between I can click and drag until it's shrunk down to a size smaller than the size of my voice you notice it's very visual and once you've made these little points you can always click them again and drag them more you just don't want to go too small so that you don't hear the sound at all you want to hear the music playing quietly in the background and that's all there is to that once you finish with that you can preview the sound now I can preview the sound and make a quick mix of the two I can do that by selecting the two tracks and holding down the shift key while I select the second one and go up to project quick mix and it'll just throw those two tracks together notice they're here at the bottom and the top one is the second copy of the sound file now we can just listen to these files together Now I'm going to produce a larger sound file, which is going to be the bulk of my recording. So I'll mute everything else. When I select record, a new track will start automatically. Jesus gave us the Great Commission before he ascended into the clouds. Our goal today is to carry out that commission. The internet provides many useful tools that can make us more effective as fishers of men. Jesus has instructed us to be as wise as serpents and as harmless as doves in Matthew 10:16. Jesus also said in Matthew 28:18 through 20 that all power is given to us in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Now I want to slide my larger recording here at the bottom into position after the intro and greeting track. I do that by going up here to the toolbar again into the toolbox and selecting the slider tool and sliding it around naturally this is going to come after the intro I want to leave a little bit of overlap now I can slide the total music track into position after my larger sound file let's move it down move track down and then move it down again okay here's our intro here is the voice file and let's zoom out so we can see it better then we have our slider tool activated we can just slide the music just so it overlaps a little here. The only thing missing at this point is fading the music in and out as I begin speaking. I'll select the select tool here. And then here where I'm going to fade the music out as the speaking begins, I'll just select the music to a distance even on both sides of the beginning of the uh, speech track. I'll go up to effect 
fade out since I want the music to fade out and that's what I'm selecting here and so then I'll go here as well and select an even distance probably up to a high sound mark go to effect and fade in since I want the music to fade in gradually rising to a higher climax As a side note here, I can generate silence at any point here in the timeline that I need by selecting the point where I want to insert, insert it and then go up to Generate Silence and it'll, it'll generate the amount of time that I want, like five seconds. <clears throat> I can also preview everything now as long as I unmute it all first. Notice I had that one muted. And that one and then I can select all and do a project quick mix because it's all ready to be combined together as one file and there it is Now we are ready to export our finished sound as a WAV file. Remember, WAV stands for Windows Audio Video File, which is used on computers. The MP3 converter that you see here on, Aud on Audacity, if you export it as MP3, it's not very high quality and it doesn't have the ID3 tag ability. So we're just going to export it as a WAV. Give it a name. I just named it Audio Mixing and I'll save it here on my desktop. You notice it's exporting it as a wave. Now I'm ready to open iTunes. I can drag and drop this wave file that I've created right into iTunes. Notice I have other sounds here that I've already dropped into iTunes. When I drag and drop it in, sometimes it notices that it's not MP3 and it prompts you to allow it to convert it. But if it doesn't, all I have to do is select on the file. There it is at the bottom. It's in a tray by itself because it doesn't have labels on it already. It doesn't recognize what album it is. All I have to do is go up to Advanced, I'm waiting on it to catch up with me here. Create MP3 version, and you see it's doing that. There it is down at the bottom of the tray, and there's our audible ping. Once I hear that audible ping, I'm ready to add the ID3 tags. Simply delete the old one, the one that says unknown artist, and then right click on the one that says the title of the, the file that you're making, click on Get Info. You want to go to Artwork, Add. I'm going into my external hard drive to find the uh, picture that I saved ahead of time. You want a square image, roughly 600 by 600 pixels. This one is closer to 600 by 593, but as close as you can get to square. Then click OK. Now I'm going to right click on it again, click on get info, you'll notice that the picture is there on the summary, but we're going back to info and we're going to add the artist name, the album artist which is usually the same, and then a title for the album, which in my case will be technology tutorials. 
and then here at the bottom we want to add a short description because it doesn't give you very many character space go ahead and put in the date and then in my case I'm going to select podcast as my genre which is what you'll be doing eventually now then I'm ready to go to lyrics and I can paste in my description and add more to it such as lyrics or websites that I want to send my listener to and click OK now you have a complete audio file which you can drag back out to your computer notice you have two separate audio mixing files here one still has all the ID3 tags the name may change on your computer screen but it still has the tags there so that if it's uploaded to iTunes or on any MP3 player it'll show the name of the, the artist and the album and the picture that you've uploaded you will also be able to upload this to your podcast which we will cover in the next tutorial how to build a podcast I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful please leave comments on YouTube or on my website have a great day